subpar things that are happening. Number one being uh, the Amazon rainforest. <sighs> yeah. Yeah. yeah the Amazon rainforest. I tweeted about this because there's so many, it's, it's weird. There is some thoughts and prayers, some hashtag thoughts and pray for Amazonia, but it's more uh, celebrity social media stars talking about spreading the word. Yep. And I think the words <clears throat> spread by now. Like we all get it. Everyone's, and everyone's how much, spread how, the word. And how much of the fire did the word put out? Absolutely zero. Oh, it didn't work? It didn't work, oh, actually. I, there is, I, go on, listen. There I, is value to ahead, it. I'm because, hold on. I'm saying this. Yep. Go ahead. It's, I'll hold it's, on. It's day. So when I first found out about it, and like most of the media, I think it was already like 16 days in, right? Like yeah. we found out way late. It's pretty wild. Crazy. Yeah. And and I, I hopped on pretty quickly and I tweeted like, how can I help? How can I actually do something? How can I leverage my audience to make a, a difference here? Because I'm not about the, and this is why I don't speak up often on things I don't feel I can make a change in because thoughts and prayers don't work for me. I mm. just don't like sending that energy out there because I don't believe it does anything. I like action. Um, and I got some tweets about it. This is a tricky situation. I'd, I'd like you to elaborate a little bit about the Amazon rainforest. And for those of you who don't know, it's, it's, bur it's burning, burning to a crisp. And it's, it, it, what is it? It's, it, uh, it processes 20% of Earth's World's oxygen. Is yeah. it 10%? 20%? They're, they're calling yeah. it the, the lungs of planet Earth. <laughs> yeah. And it's just burning to, to the ground. Yeah. Um, I mean, from what I've gathered, the this is something that we can avoid, right? The forest fires like this, especially with the climate that it's in, this is they're saying that it's a man made, it's a man caused fire because of slashing and burning. And the majority of what that slash and burning is coming from is cattle farming. C cattle ranching and logging. Yeah. So um Bolsonaro, the president of Brazil, he is a very, they compare him to like the Trump yep, of Brazil. Yep, yep. He's, he wants to incentivize these natives in the Amazonian forest to give up their the lands, lands for, for a better right, life. Right. That's what he's saying. And he wants, uh, you know, I think it's like 90% of the lands that are taken over by these Amazonian tribes have to be cattle farming. It's a requirement. <sighs> so the government's requiring um, these people who are taking over the native lands to produce cattle and then they're slashing and burning. And the reason why they think that's what's happening is because now is the time of year that slashing and burning starts to occur to make room for the new cattle lands. They call him Captain Chainsaw. Oof, he, he is, uh, that's an he is so environmentally unfriendly and it sucks because, you know, being a, an American, I like, I don't even know where to start with this. I, I, I put uh, our magical friend Jed on it and hopefully... Jed, please give me insight on how I can do something. We we talked about going down there. Yep, yep. Um, We're looking it, into it. <clears throat> it. It seems like it could be a bit dangerous. I'm down you, for danger. I mean, listen, I, I tweeted about it yesterday. I said, uh, what what is doing more thoughts and prayers from the right or or you know Instagram stories from the left? And it was it was kind of just poking at what what's the next step? Like once you share this story out, there's nothing you can really donate to. There's no infrastructure that supports. Th there's any kind there's of a, like there's a few. I'm just, you know how hesitant you got to be when you're just throwing money at a, a, a oh, charity that you're making uh, bags off. Yeah, dude. like like mm -hmm. ninety, like what's what's the percentage of nonprofit that are actually nonprofit? It's like it's 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 high, right? Yeah, I don't know the specifics yeah. on that. Forests burn and regenerate every year, yeah, whether it's California, whether it's the Amazon. I'm not saying it's okay. I'm not saying we shouldn't build awareness yeah. for it, but I guess like the question is like. What's what's the true next step? Like now that all the Instagram stories are out, yeah. I went on the news yesterday to see what the what what that did to the media. What, it, what acted as a catalyst or what? They were talking about Trump saying that he was the chosen one, and so it's like, what is the what's the true impact of all those IG stories? Yeah, well, I think you know, <laughs> obviously, there's the layer of awareness. We got past that, yep. so I think a lot of it comes down to where. To me, it's a little unfortunate because I don't like <coughs> living in the political conversation space and yeah. all that kind of stuff. But I do think to a level, this is kind of, our generation is having to confront, in my opinion, I want to hear what you guys think. Our generation is having to confront these people who are in power that are doing things to compromise our planet and our environment. Yeah, and I think yeah. it's forcing us to have to talk about it. We can't not. You can't ignore it. You know, 20 years, 30 years from now, we're not going to be in a position where we can say, oh, just let the people in the government do whatever they want. I think we're coming to this critical time where young people have to do something. I, I hate, don't think any of us to, really know what that is yet. I hate to say it, but I was talking to somebody about it. And I, I'm so cautious with how I put this, but back in the day when you wanted to get things done, you didn't post about it. You didn't tweet about it. You blocked legislators' driveways. 
You unfortunately burned shit to the fucking ground. Yeah. Yeah, yeah. And you made the lives of legislators and those in power as uncomfortable as possible until things changed. That included boycotts. That included straight up guerrilla motherfucking warfare in the streets he, I, of the country. I, I, I hear you. I'm not, also, and I'm not advocating any of that shit. He's just saying, but it, I'm it just saying place. like, that was the shit that made change. But it also took, it took the, a million motherfuckers walking through Washington DC yeah. together with their fists in the fucking air saying, we want change right now. Yep. And we're not going to stop until that change occurs mm -hmm. to make a change happen. So like, yeah, you got 82,000 impressions on your Instagram story. But somebody went off that and went straight to It's Julia Rose's page right after that shit. You know what I'm saying? What's the next fucking step? What's the next step? Yeah. You know? You've yeah. Been, you, man, you've been talking a lot about It's Julia Rose. She has a fiance. Why did you Why did you use her name? Out of all the influences <laughs> you could have used. So yeah, Mike has been Mike's been having a little trouble with this girl no, in the no, DMs. No, it's over. It's over. She well, fucking, he, I didn't know. And the bigger point- We cannot dodge this conversation, by the way. This is an important conversation. The Amazonian one? Yes. Let's go right back. Let's revisit. But, no, I'm Let's hear. Let's hear. Instagram models have gotten so good at not putting their god dang relationships on their page. And and they, rightfully, and rightfully so. so. Because the last thing I want to see mm. is Sierra Sky's boyfriend. I'm sure yeah. he's a great guy, yeah. but when I'm scrolling <laughs> her page, like I don't really want to see him, to be honest with you. And so, and so, like, great job to the girls who have done that, but it made it really difficult for me. And so when I saw, you know, what I thought was the girl of my digital dreamland, yeah, yeah. I didn't know that she had a, a tatted up really good looking fiance not, not even a boyfriend he i a supposedly fiance. is a fun mark donor told me that do we, do we trust Mark? i'm gonna donor. go with it listen i don't like stepping on toes i apologize <laughs> random tattooed man i didn't mean to step on any toes it's julia rose i apologize for those but also DMs. bro they were like, very they I, I were saw, very polite i <laughs> they were playful as far i saw the dms man what they were chills, i don't know though. if i'd want my fiance being playful with the co-host of the number one podcast in the world yeah i don't know if i'd want wow. that that's, that's why i said it. it's over I, it's I, like right. like i'm my axe is 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 landing <laughs> Anyways, we're back. <laughs> we're back. back. Yeah. We're back. Well, what do you guys think? I mean, you know, what what do you think is going to happen within the next five years, or needs to happen in order think, to actually start creating I think some change? I, I, so, so us young people, us millennials, the users of digital media, we are so good at making noise. Well, let's make active noise. Mm. Let's make let's let's not just talk and tweet like 90, 90 to ninety nine percent of people do. I even like um. I talk about the cancel culture a lot. It's 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 literally it's all just noise. Who who is actually yeah. out there making change and doing D O I N G? But with the cancel culture, when it comes to one digital person canceling another digital person, it actually it is action. It is action because you could actually cancel. I'm, I'm uh, but, I, but, I, the example I'm using yeah. is this, and I and I've said this before on the show. Like <laughs> after after Japan, I think we said we addressed that on the last episode. After Japan, millions millions of tweets, like one of the most hated people on the planet. When I, when I walked outside in public, not a, not a single person said anything. And so mm -hmm. I'm 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 there's a there's a disconnect between digital and real life. Mm -hmm. And how can we connect those, especially with something like the Amazon rainforest, where like who's who who has the power to make the change besides us as a collective, yeah. as the users of this new new age of media. I, I think we need to be a little more creative in the type of noise we're making. Yeah. Well, I think to Mike's point, I I do kind of foresee some, you know, like a somewhat aggressive peaceful action you know like we actually have to <laughs> yes. assemble legal an, peaceful yeah. action we and do have to aggressively do I, it I, I agree i agree with you except i will say i might catch some heat for this you you know you 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 drive you're like driving in downtown la and you see like 10 people holding like signs on a stick and you're just like what the fuck are they doing well that's because mm. there's only 10 just of like, them just like yelling about jesus that's because there's only 10 of them when it's when it's a million no one's asking questions then cnn has to cover that's, it yeah. that's true the, the, the other thing is uh i was talking to my mom about this spencer you're gonna you're not gonna like this at all let's see what you got at what point do you just just wash your hands of it man and just yeah. Are we in a dystopian world? Is that what is happening? it over? Like, like the question is this, guys: Are we fucked? Like, should yeah. we really start looking at Mars? Should we really start saying? And I, this is not Dude, my view. No. I'm just, I'm just posing Mars the isn't question. Even a solution at this point, <laughs> it's, it's just, really not. I'm just posing the question. The Amazon's burning. The Arctic is melting. Greenland is melting. Donald Trump is the president, which could be good, could be bad, depending on your fucking belief system. I didn't say anything, uh, but like. <laughs> But like, canceled. But like, what? At what point do you kind of just like 
damn, man, like time to clock out. I think it's out. time to clock out, dude. <laughs> like I think, I mean, dude, it's a it's a good question, but it's it's a sad day yeah, and a sad reality sure, if we sure. do get to that point where people just start diving down that that belief system. Do you think a lot of people are already there? One hundred percent. I think a lot of people are. I. I I said, I said, I think I said this in the last episode too. By the way, last episode was, was sick. I think it was one of the greatest <laughs> with, with Eric, Eric Griffin. Yeah, like so watch that episode. It's, it's like underviewed <laughs> right now, but it's dope. We said a lot of good stuff. I think uh, humans are, the majority of humans are reactive and not proactive. For sure. And like until there's that point of no return, everyone's gonna be like, no, nah, we got to do something. Mm-hmm. My child has cancer in his lungs because he's breathing in fumes from the air from the Amazon rainforest. And then it's like, now all of a sudden we need to do something instead of being proactive. I think it's, a little bit difficult to get people to activate on something that they can, that is unfathomable to them until they're, it's, yeah. it's happening in their lives. Yeah. And I was, I was saying that on uh, Twitter, I was talking about how, you know, we, right now we actually have the chance to change it, you know, in, in 10 years and 20 years. And if we give up well, there's no, there's no hope, like there's nothing that we can do. Yeah. I've got- so why, like, think about all the people out there that are watching this, right? If you have kids, or if you know people who do have kids, um, or you know, if you're planning on having kids, what's the point if we don't pass down a world to them? Yeah, like, it's what's a, the point? It's a huge, it's Why a are you emotion. having kids? Why are you giving your life to another human being and raising them and bringing them into the planet if you don't even care to make sure that that planet is going to be around for the time that they get to live? Well said, Spence. There's uh, there's this quote that. Believe it or not, good old Brendan North posted on his Instagram go. story shout, the other shout day, and he is, he's quite active about this stuff, which is great. Um, this is a quote by Martin Niemöller, and this is actually on in one of the galleys in, in D.C. It says, when the Nazis came for the communists, I remained silent. I was not a communist. When they locked up the Social Democrats, I remained silent. I was not a Social Democrat. When they came for the trade unionists, I did not speak out. I was not a trade unionist. When they came for the Jews, I remained silent. I wasn't a Jew. When they came for me, there was no one left to speak out. Man. And so I think what's happening is there's a lot of people that are sitting around saying, oh, damn, in the Amazon? That's what I'm shit, saying. Shit, like well, I- that sucks. Oh, damn, that the fires are burning in California? That sucks. Oh, the Arctic, Arctic's fucking melting or Antarctic caps? Like, no one cares until it's at their fucking doorstep. Until it affects yeah. you, Until, bro. like, even, even with yeah. fucking mass shootings. No one gives a shit until they're at a fucking country concert in Las Vegas with their family mm. and, and bullets start flying. Yeah. So what do you guys think it is? I have my own idea, but what do you think is the thing that will mobilize people in this country, in the world? What do you think that thing is? I think if there was a, a person or a group of heads, maybe like a collective of people to be orators on call to actions, Hell yeah. just to make it like... And by the way, someone actually tweeted back at me and they're like, here, here, here you go. Like, this is what you can do. And I, and I responded, I said, thank you. We're, we're, we're looking into it and seeing what, what actions we can take. But I think if there was someone who made it very clear what you can actually do, because a lot of people are just uneducated mm-hmm. on, on, on steps to take here besides post reposting a, a video that you saw on Instagram. And I think even more than just like what the steps are, I think at the end of the day, it's going to come down to a person that makes everyone the public the legislators feel uncomfortable that's that's martin, martin luther king in your fucking face we will not stand for this anymore this is over yeah or or abraham lincoln i'm done with this shit yeah i'm ending slavery and and all the and everybody in the south said like hell you are and he said no i'm fucking doing it yeah you want to get and in it, my way literally <laughs> exactly let's get and it, it started, bitch. And they didn't have shotguns they had muskets, muskets. well you know what <laughs> but like, but like, who? <laughs> Let's go, bitch. <laughs> the, the, I think the big, ramrods classic, dude. <laughs> I think the bigger problem is, you know, obviously, I think those voices are out there, but unfortunately, we live in a society where there is so much noise, so nice. and people are so interested in what the Kardashians are using for toilet paper that no one. Yeah, the, it, it's hard to be that voice that raises out because now I think when people start to rise out of the crowd, people look and say. Look at this corny, look at this corny dude trying to make a difference. Back in the day, when MLK went, MLK went to make a difference, people looked at him, his people especially looked at him as, a, as, a, as an icon. Now the icons are Kim K, Kanye, you know, like right. people that like, dude, did you see how much Balenciaga yeah. think, this motherfucker just bought? Like yeah. that gets people one, talking. One person dude. that I do have to shout out who actually I just met, we were texting the other day, is Jaden Smith. 
He, oh, yeah. he is somebody sure, that sure. he he posted a picture <laughs> on his Instagram with Boy and Slat. Who were oh, big on no Boy and oh no way! Oh yeah, no way! We yeah, love Boy and Slat. Yep. Yep. He's got to uh, come on. I I see him. I see Jaden as somebody who is <laughs> is like using his platform and using his voice now. Um, probably one of the best. I think I think For he's sure. really doing it. And I think his age group right now are the ones that can mobilize if there's people more people like Jaden sure. using their platform the way it is. And I think that's what we have right here. Like, I don't know if you guys saw the, uh, the article that came out this week. The podcasting space is now a billion dollar industry. Oh, where, where, where's, where's that money? <laughs> Do we, can we work on that? <laughs> We're getting there, baby. We're getting there. Oh, 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 oh. But this is, uh, what I mean by that is like, this is a space, right? What we're creating here with Impulsive is a space to talk about this stuff, yeah. to actually make a difference. And we're doing it. And we're yeah. doing it. And by the way, like this, this isn't the first time this week, me and Logan had a Twitter battle the other day about journalistic responsibility. I think this works. That was good. That was that was a good it's, battle. It's a good segue. Yeah, it is. if we want to talk about it a little bit. All about bit. that. Yeah, because well, I was gonna I, just a little bit. Let's oh let's my let's. God. Did you guys see I chimed in at the end? No, <laughs> I, I want to know what you said. I want to I want to flesh this out because yep. you kind of hinted at it. You said there's so much.